Hi, my name is Matthew Scott from SHS International and I'm going to be speaking to my colleague Owen Brennan today about cow's milk allergy. Owen, thanks for seeing us today. No problem, Matt. Uh, what exactly is cow's milk allergy? Well, cow's milk allergy involves an immune reaction against the proteins that are contained in, in cow's milk. Um, like any allergic reaction, the body sees a harmless protein, in this case milk protein, as a threat and starts attacking that protein. And um, when that happens, uh, the, the body gets damaged. Right, and, and who's mainly affected by this? Cow's milk allergy nearly always comes on in the first year of life. Um, it's, it's very rare for it to occur after the child's first birthday. Right, and, and what, what symptoms should parents be looking out for? Okay, well, like with any allergy, you tend to get symptoms in three main body systems. They are the skin, uh, the gut or gastrointestinal tract, and the respiratory system or the lungs and the, the upper airways. Typically, children will get a, a combination of symptoms. Most children will get at least two symptoms, and they will typically have s symptoms from more than two body systems. So, for example, a child might have diarrhea, but they might also have a, a skin rash. Right. I mean, is, is it contagious? Can it be passed on from child to child? Or? Uh, thankfully, not. Um, it's, it's, it's not contagious. No, no one is exactly sure what causes cow's milk allergy, although there's a lot of research in that area at the moment because cow milk allergy, like all allergies, is thought to be on the rise. Um, it's thought to be a, multifactor a multifactorial disorder um, with a number of different factors involved. And for example, um, your, your genes or genetic material are thought to play a part in whether or not you get cow's milk allergy, as is what's happening in the environment. Right. How, how is cow's milk allergy treated? In theory, cow's milk allergy is very easy to treat. You simply remove milk from the person's diet. How that's done in practice uh, can vary depending on the exact patient that you're treating, really. If you're talking about the typical child with cow milk allergy, they're a child that's on regular baby milk or infant formula. Uh, the reason why they will be getting symptoms is because regular baby milk is based on cow's milk protein. Um, in that case, you simply switch the child's formula to a more suitable formula. Um, if the child's a bit older and they're also eating solid foods, not only does the formula need to be milk-free, but all the other foods in the diet need to be milk-free. You also get rare cases where a breastfeeding child displays uh, symptoms of cow milk allergy despite the fact that they're not consuming anything apart from, from breast milk. Um, this isn't an allergy to the breast milk itself. What's happening is milk proteins from the mother's diet are passing through the breast milk into the child. And in that case, um, you try and encourage the mother to, to remain breastfeeding, but she takes milk proteins out of her diet. Right. And when it actually comes to, to treating cow's milk allergy, is, that, is it the same from country to country? Um, Broadly the same from, from country to country. Um, there, there would be some cultural variations in the diet, but the, the principles remain the same. Um, I, I, I spoke earlier about switching formulas. There, there's actually only three types of formulas that are suitable for the management of cow's milk allergy. There's lots of other formulas out there that are sometimes used for them. Uh, used to manage cow milk allergy, but most of them are inappropriate. In terms of appropriate formulas to treat cow milk allergy, you're talking about soy-based infant formulas, although they have quite a limited role, um, and the hypoallergenic formulas. The hypoallergenic formulas are, are split into two categories, the extensively hydrolyzed formulas, which are based on milk proteins that are broken down into smaller pieces, and the amino acid based formulas which are based on, as the name suggests, amino acids which are the building blocks of protein. Right, brilliant, and I'm sure what everybody wants to know is, is there a cure? Unfortunately there's not uh, a cure for cow's milk allergy but the good news is that most children tend to outgrow it. Uh, as I said it, it nearly always comes on in the first year of life but you would expect the vast majority of children to outgrow by the age of three to five years b before they've started school. Brilliant. Okay. Well, thanks for seeing us today and hopefully it's been useful. Okay. You're welcome.